Hi, it's Corrine, and today I thought I would share a quick video with you showing how um, something that I made to organize my little ink cube stamps, which I'll show you in just a moment. I did want to show you I organized all my stamps by color. I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire, and I used, I designed this in my Cameo and then used my Misty stamping tool to get the stamp in the exact same position on all of them. These are little um, trading card pockets that I had in my stash. So yes, I could have bought smaller protectors and gotten and used up less room, but I had these in my stash. So instead of buying something new, I figured I would just use what I had. And so I went ahead and added all my distress inks first. So they're on the front and the back. And then I added just all of my inks um, by color. And then at the very end, I did add these as well. These are different inks that layering inks that I've used that I tried out. And then I wrote down what I used to get this look. So I still have a ton of these left to be able to add to. And I just kept put them on a three ring binder and I keep them right inside these cubes. If you saw my scrapbook tour, you saw that I had a large cube that it, under my desk that holds these 12 by 12s. And they also sell these type of containers at Walmart as well that'll hold 12 by 12 papers. This is what I like to keep all my inks in. So in one of the containers, I keep you know my um, blending tools, my distress inks, my spellbinders inks, and then some of my hero art inks. And then I also have a non slip grip thing on the bottom so they don't slip around too much and then let me set this aside in another one of these containers I keep most of my embossing powder stuff some extra acrylic blocks and my cleaning stamp things like that I have my less used stamps or extra um, ink pads I mean my less used ink pads in here um, some extra acrylic blocks and then some extras that are brand new unopened. And this is what I was talking about, that non-slip um, grip stuff. I got that at Walmart in the, uh, I believe it was the laundry section. You use them for your cabinets usually. So I just keep this in here. It's easy to reference. And this is what I wanted to share with you today. So I was looking for a way to keep all of my ink cubes together. I have a couple of these Tim Holtz Distress Ink tins but I ordered a lot of these inks and I needed a place to store them and I would have had to buy at least seven more of these and I just didn't want to number one invest in them and number two then when I'm pulling these out I have to pull seven to ten of these out to go through so I was one thinking about what I could do and I came up with this solution and I'm so happy with it so I have two of them and I made them out of chipboard so I took a piece of 12 by 12 chipboard and for holding all of this together, I'm using Gorilla Tape. This stuff is super strong. I'm using the one inch I got it from Walmart in their hardware section. And I just took a piece of 12 by 12 chipboard and then I took several other pieces like two inch by 12 inch chipboard, scored them and bent them up around the sides and they're held together with Gorilla Tape. And then for these sections, I added three of them. So here's one, two, and three. I took a piece of 12 by two and a half chipboard, scored them up one half inch on the side, bent them up, and added Gorilla Tape to hold them in place. As you can see the black there. And then I adhered these down onto this with E6000 and just let it sit overnight. And now, as you can see, I have all my inks in one spot. This, I have a desk that sits right behind me, so when I'm going to work on something, I can pull these out, set them right next to me, and be able to see everything right at hand and be able to choose from them. To me, that was a much cheaper solution than buying a ton of these and then having to store a ton of these. Because again, I wanted a way to keep them in one of these containers without them sliding around everywhere. So this was a perfect solution to me, and now they stack perfectly and fit right inside of this container. So I hope this gives someone an idea. Maybe you could use this as well. It's all using chipboard. And in order to score my chipboard, I used my Fiskars 
paper trimmer, I just used an old blade because it'll dull your blade very fast. So I just put my chipboard in it, ran it across, and it scored it just enough so I could bend it where I wanted it, wanted to bend it. And then, like I said, I used Gorilla Tape to hold it in place. This stuff is super strong. I tried it with duct tape. It does not work, but the, the Gorilla Tape works great. So I hope you find this interesting. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and thanks for stopping by.